Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today and welcome to the home of all things FIFA career mode. If you are new to my channel and you do go on to enjoy this video, it really is a no brainer to hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back and thanks for your continued support. And if you want daily FIFA career gems content or you just want to get in touch, then why not head over to either my Twitter or Instagram. So in today's video, we'll be looking through the highlights from the career mode squad update from the 4th of November 2020. But just a reminder, to access any of the features included in today's video, you will need to start a brand new FIFA 21 career mode with the downloaded latest squads. To run alongside this week's title update, this squad update was expected to include several third kits. However, even after downloading the title update and then the squad update, these third kits are not available in FIFA 21 kickoff or in career mode. And in addition to the third kits, there were several new face scans also due to be added by the title update and squad update. But instead of getting their face scans, these players have been given the generic placeholder bald avatars. Now these face scans were actually expected in the first title update after FIFA 21 launched about three weeks ago, so God knows why they still haven't been added. But in answer to everyone's question, I really have no idea when either the face scans or the third kits will be added to FIFA 21 career mode. Hopefully it's sooner rather than later. The only people that can answer that question are EA Sports themselves. And personally, it really is genuinely disappointing. After such a strong start to FIFA 21 with the new features, career mode at the minute is a little bit of an unplayable farce. It's full of bugs, including the one where the homegrown talent no longer has a torso and he's holding a red card. During every contract negotiation, our created manager had been replaced by the manager twins. And now to add to that, the third kits are still missing and the players that were expected to get their face scans have now been replaced by a bald avatar placeholder. And to top it off, the FIFA 21 next gen launch has been delayed till early December. But now let's look at some things that the squad update did include. Several new high potential players were added, including Diogo Quiros from Famalicão. He's a centre back or right back, 21 years of age from Portugal, with a 70 overall, a potential of 80, recently transferred, so not available in the first window. Conrado Ibarra from Colón de Santa Fe in Argentina. He's a left back, 16 years of age, 59 overall, potential of 81, not available in the first window. Ivan Azona from Real Zaragoza, he's a striker at 17 years of age from Spain, with a 59 overall, a potential of 82, recently transferred, so not available in the first window. David Bralia from Astra Giorgio, he's a central attacking midfielder or centre forward, 18 years of age from Romania, with a 60 overall, a potential of 82, you can pick him up in the first window for around 800k. Returning to FIFA 21 career mode complete with a real face is Rafael Camacho from Sporting Club Portugal. He's a right winger, 20 years of age, 73 overall, exciting prospect potential of 86, available to pick up in the first transfer window for around 10 million. And the final new player in this week's update is another new exciting prospect, Takahuro Nakai from Real Madrid. He's a central attacking midfielder, 16 years of age from Japan, with 4-star skill moves and a 4-star weak foot, 62 overall, exciting prospect potential of 86, he's got the playmaker and technical dribbler trait, and you can pick him up in the first window if you pay that release clause. So now we move on to some players that have had their potentials upgraded. And first up we have Atalanta striker Ahmed Diallo Traore, who's gone up from 80 to 82. PSV centre-back or right-back Jordan Teze, 80 up to 83. Bordeaux left winger Delaine Bakwa from 81 up to 83. Reading left midfielder, right midfielder or central attacking midfielder Michael Olise from 82 up to 83. The first of several Feyenoord players is the left back Terrell Malasia from 83 up to an 84. Heron Veen's central midfielder Joey Veerman from 83 up to 84. One of my favourite players from FIFA 20, Aberdeen central midfielder Lewis Ferguson from 83 up to an 84. Inter Milan centre-back Alessandro Bastone, up from 83 to an 84. 
Feyenoord right back or centre back Gutrauder from 82 up to an 85. Benfica's Brazilian central attacking midfielder Pedrino from 84 up to 86. Another new exciting prospect from Sporting Club Portugal is Daniel Bracanca, who could play central attacking midfield or central midfield up from 85 to 86. Argentina and Feyenoord centre back Marcos Senisi from 85 up to 86. Back up to an exciting prospect for Sassuolo central attacking midfielder Ahmed Junior Traore, increased by a plus one up to an 86. Feyenoord goalkeeper Justin Bijlo from 84 up to an 86. And yet another Feyenoord player and now a new exciting prospect is the winger Luis Sinistera, potential upgraded by plus two to an 86. Inter Milan central midfielder, who I still can't believe hasn't got a face scan in FIFA 21, Nicolo Barella sees his potential up 1 to 88. And the penultimate upgrade this week from the fictional Juventus Piemonte Calcio is Jan Kulusevski, potential upgraded by plus 1 to 88. And the final potential upgrade in this week's update is for Bayern Munich winger Kingsley Coleman, who's had a plus 1 from 88 up to 89. So now on the flip side, it's time to look at some players that have had their potentials downgraded. And first up, we have Mohamed Darami from Copenhagen, potential down from 85 to 83. Roma centre-back Marash Kumbula, potential down from 85 to 83. Real face into Milan goalkeeper Inyot Radu, minus two potential downgrade. Career mode favourite striker Pat Sandaka from Salzburg, potential downgraded to an 83. Roma right midfielder or right winger Carles Perez, potential downgraded by minus one. Hair to Berlin left midfielder Javaro Dilerson, potential downgraded by two to 84. One of my favourite young midfielders in FIFA 21 is Aston the Ranks from KV Mechelen, who has had his potential downgraded from 86, an exciting prospect, to 84, showing great potential. Real face Benfica midfielder on loan at Monaco Florentino is no longer an exciting prospect with a minus two downgrade. Brentford right winger or striker Brian Embuemo, potential downgraded by minus one from 85 to 84. How dare they, my favourite FIFA 20 goalkeeper, Martin van der Voort, potential cut from 87 to 86. Penultimate downgrade is Napoli goalkeeper Alex Menet, down from 87 to 86. And the final potential downgrade of this week's update sees Sergio Reguilon from Tottenham Hotspur, potential cut from 89 down to 87. So that concludes the highlights from the career mode squad update from the 4th of November. Just a reminder to access any of the features, you will need to start a brand new FIFA 21 career mode with a downloaded latest squads. So all that remains to say is thank you so much for watching. Please remember to tune into my channel next time. Up today, it's FCG out.